Hello people in the house all doing? Today we're going to talk about Pope Francis going to address the abuse in the church for decades and decades in this country. Because if you don't know, Pope Francis will come to Ireland. And I do not take the Pope will ever say boo against any priest who abused. Or anything like that. I do not take Pope Francis to admit anything. Because I don't think he knows what happened in this country, that the church was higher than the state and higher than the president and had total and utter control of the state. And whatever the government said, and if the church didn't like it, the church were on top, not the government. Abusing children, abusing women, abusing everybody. Getting the, get, get, taking money off poor people who couldn't say anything, reading people's names out who didn't pay the money to the church in front of everybody at Sunday Mass for no apparent reason. Why would you do that? Because they were starving. These people were starving. The church had to take the money out. Mother and baby homes. May I start with that? Children being killed in mother and baby homes. Starved to death. Walked to death. Back years ago. And some of them didn't even fight. Took away from their parents because they were, the parents weren't married when they had the child. I never got to see that mother, never got to see the father. Still to this day, there's children who doesn't know who their father and who their mother is because of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church and the Pope. Uh, this Pope is the best Pope I've seen in a long, long time because the rest of them were involved with Mafia. The Mafia. They were involved with the Mafia. They were involved with Edith Stat Nero. Every gangster in the country they were involved with. And, I'm not, and I don't care what they take of me. I don't care. The Church can come down on top of me, but they have no say. They can't bring me to law. Because I have about 10, maybe 20,000, 29,000 people who say they were abused by the church. And people that are, and OTE, the radio station and the OTE, and the television station in this country, will refuse to let people on who are abused. There was a woman crying on the radio the other day because she was abused by the church. Her sister was abused when she was small by the church. And OTE, this was on the radio, and OTE tried to shut her up. They told her to be quiet. And she said, I will not be quiet. And she said what she had to say. And she said, the hell with Jews. I'm going to say what I had to say. And I had to let her speak. And what she said was more powerful than anything else I heard. Because it was just pure and up upset. She was so depressed. And so down on her luck. She was so upset. She could literally hear it on her face. She was nearly going to die because she was so upset. I thought she was going to die in the radio. And this authority was trying to cover up. And the government's trying to cough up. As soon as somebody says something bad to the Pope. Or says that my son was abused. And what are you going to say about it? Because there'll be people wanting to say get at us from the Pope. Because no Pope ever addressed that there's been ever such thing in Ireland. There has been so much abuse in this country it's ridiculous. They were nearly as worse as the British. The British stabbed two million people out of this country. Killed a million people in the famine. And the church was more or less nearly the same. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna give you any sympathy. I give Pope Francis a bit of sympathy. He's one of the best popes I've ever seen in my whole life. But he has to address it. He needs to listen to people and not let his the government push him around. Because the government's going to try and kick him so fast away from people that he won't even uh, even be able to speak. Because the guards will be moving him on and everything, trying to shut the people up so they won't see. There's people dying in the streets of Dublin. They're going to try and put everybody into some kind of building and lock them up. Just so the Pope won't see them. There is people dying. There's people lying outside the GPO in O'Connor Street. There's people lying outside the Phoenix Park, outside the hours. And as soon as he goes to the hours, well, let me tell you, there'll be nobody leaving near it. There'll be no homeless person even in the vicinity of it. They kick everybody around the place. The guards will have everybody in the high courts or in somewhere. They have them in jail cells. They have them somewhere. But they will not have them out on the street. So Pope Francis will see them. That's what's going to happen. That's what this government's like. I'm telling people. If you have this, if you abuse by the church, if the church abuse you, abuse your sister, abuse your brother, abuse your mother. I know my granny. My granny was so fond of the church that she would give every last cent to the church. She paid the church a weekly summons every week, put her, the church before her family, before her six children. Before her six children. Then the mother had them starved and being called out in front of the whole community as being a communist or a blackmailer or whatever they called themselves back then, the church. Because they said they were here, the devil because they wouldn't pay the church. And that's what it was said, that she didn't pay one week and they called her the devil. The devil! Oh, star nearly starving her children so she wouldn't be called. It wasn't her fault, she didn't want to starve her children, but the church made her. The church made her, and I have a thing for the Pope. 
if I'm if he comes near me. I have a thing to say to him. I don't care if every guy in the country comes down on top of me. Or every government minister in the country comes down on top of me. But I'm going to say what I have to say if I, if I see the Pope. If he comes near me. I'm not going to even intend to go near the Pope. I wouldn't give the... the, the because you have to pay to go and see the Pope. Pay! Pay! There's people dying on the streets. And you say about paying to go and see the Pope. I mean, that's what I mean. Pay to see the Pope. Pay! You have to pay to see the Pope if you're dying. Pay to do this. You have to pay everything in this country. And I just say the Catholic Church is a Hippocratic society. Hypocrites. I know there's a good lot of good priests and good nuns. I know a good few of them. And I have to say, I give, I would give for every set to them if they ask me. Because they're such decent, good people. And I know, I know a few of them. I'm not saying this uh, because I'm trying to make good of them. Because there is a few. There is a few good priests. There's, but the majority of them is just bad. They have bad intentions. And I wouldn't even give them the time there. I wouldn't give them. I give to the, the one. Uh, when I got my confirmation, there was a good nun. There was a good priest. And I would give them all the time of day. If they ask me for a favor, I say, yes, father, yes, sister, I help you. Them too, them too. I have a lot of respect for them too, at least, in my whole life. I have a lot. And I have respect for Bishop Leo Wiley, who is the bishop of the Diocese of Kilmore, which I'm in. And I have respect for him, because he's after saying that the church is dead. And he's said it. And he's the bishop of the Diocese of Kilmore. He's the bishop of Calvin. And he's more or less said that the church needs to help people who are starving and who need help. Not be a person who's trying to take money off people. And I give my pat him on the back. I give him a medal, to be honest. With you. I give him a medal because he said it on public radio. Well, he said it. I give him a medal. I literally go up and give him a medal because he's just so good for saying that. He literally admitted it. He admitted it that the church has no say nowadays in any part of society. And the church, for what they've done in this country, should be held accountable. And every priest who will wave the child or wave the woman should be brought up the steps and locked up. Because they're not men of God, they're men of the devil. They call people for not paying the church the devil, but they are the devil for raping children. I see even people, you go into prisons in Ireland, and there wouldn't be as bad a people in it as some priest who died without even being brought to justice. And I'm telling any woman or any man who is abused by the church to get out and speak. Speak up. Speak up and say what happened to you. Tell what priest on it. If a priest is alive, tell the gals and the gals will lock him up and throw away the key. But do not abuse priests who never done one thing wrong. There's a good lot of priests in this country, as I said, that never done one thing wrong, who doesn't even know what happened years ago, because they're young priests who want to make it, the country better. And I understand that and I have respect for them. And I have respect for everybody who's trying to make the country better. And there's young priests. I see young priests in the... In say a mass and all that, and I have respect for them because they're not out for money. They help. They're there to help people, and that's as simple as that. They're there to help people. They're not there to help the pockets. They're not there to help any girls. They're not there to help any Drake. They're there for the help people who are sick, who are needy, and who are starving. And as simple as that. And I have respect for these young priests. There's some old priests too. There's some good old priests I know. There's some good old priests. There's not all, not all of them bad, but the vast majority are bad. But there's about 20% that's not bad and the rest are bad sheep, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's my big roast. I do not take anybody to be loud near Pope Francis if they have anything against the church. Because the guards are going to just literally push them away and they'll be literally brought into prison for no apparent reason. And they're going to put every homeless person into a prison cell or go to do something because they don't want people going near them with any bad thing. They don't want everybody showing up the country. But I'm telling everybody now, I literally nearly have to break my pen there because I'm so angry. We are a country. We are a democratic society. If we have something to say, we're going to say it. No matter if the government kills us. Shoots us. We have, if we want to say something to the Pope, then we might as well say it. What are we going to get at the end of the day? We're not going to cause them. We're going to say, can you acknowledge that this happened years ago? Will you say sorry to the people who are, on, who are 90 or something? Or 80 even? Maybe even dying on the sickbed, who were abused by the church, and who want an apology. An apology from the highest point in the church. An apology. They only want sorry. They don't want a medal. They don't want to be brought to the fatigue and given lovely food, lovely dresses. They want an apology. Every old woman and every old man who was abused by the church want an apology. 
They don't want anything else. And the whole country wants an apology who's old. Every old woman and every old man wants an apology for what they seen years ago by the Catholic Church. And may I say I want to see an apology. And nothing never happened to me that the sword because I would not let them. I watch the church. I watch priests. I watch them on a daily basis. And if I see them doing something wrong, I'm, at, I'm straight at them. But I say there is a good, good lot of priests who have to be respected because they do their best. And that's all they ask. They do their best for society and they do their best for the country. They help as many people as they can. And I have respect for some priests, some of them, but there's a good lot of them bad. Thank you.